right and it's go, go, go for this special two lap Monaco race as he comes, looks to the left, looks to the right. Oh no, it's a disaster as all the competitors pile on top of each other and he goes over the top. It's unconventional driving. It's as if he's in a monster truck, but he gets on through past the first corner as we see the crowd going wild underneath the slightly mad studios advertising there. Up the hill, has to be careful. His tyre's colder than an ice cube. Moves to the left. Catching on the competitor in front, hasn't got enough grip, sliding all over the place, moves to the right, it's like a snake in a sandpit, can he get on the inside, he's moved up, he's through, he's passed, absolutely superb driving as he passes three drivers on that single corner, now it's a case of knocking it down and making sure he can't get it back, but he's lost the position on the inside, as he goes to the left, he shuffles to the right, this truly is on the limit driving. As he has a sniff on the left hand side, can he find a way through? No, no, he's blocked, but he's gonna go for a run in the tunnel. He's got some space. Can he hit the braking point to get him? 200, 150, 100, slams on the brakes, down the slope. He's on his bumper, but he hasn't got enough speed to make a pass. But what's that up front? Someone's lost a wheel in the wall. One, two, three, he's through. Absolutely superb driving as he passes another three competitors on the first opening lap of this two lap Monaco GP. The car squirming, the wheels not wanting to bite but he's got control of it. Of course now it's all a case of just staying calm, putting in the laps as he tries to bridge the gap between the competitors in front as he comes to the final corner of this first lap. As we see the start finish line, the view of the mountains in the distance, absolutely stunning. But don't get distracted. He has to hit the break point and he does. Can he carry the speed up the hill? Yes. Uses the full width of the track. Absolutely incredible. The sheer power of the car is extraordinary as it causes its way up the hill. The driver taking the unconventional inside line, but it's working as he gets back on the racing line, avoids the bump on the left-hand corner. Can he hit the brake point? Yes, he's on it. And it looks like there might be blood in the water because in the distance, we can see three drivers and he's eating away at them. He's searching for all the time he can find as he uses all the curbing available to him. But of course, use too much and you could be in the wall and then it's race over as he sees the bumpers of the drivers in front. Can he make it past? What's happening? Oh no, there's been an accident. Left side, right side, he's through. Absolutely incredible overtakes through the tunnel. I can't believe that they're all in one piece as they have a bit of a fracas behind him, but he doesn't care. He's in front. He just has to bring it home now. The final five corners through the chicane. Slow, loses control a bit. The car slopping all over the place like a bucket of water on the back of a tractor as he goes. Last two corners, he's taking it easy. He doesn't want to make a mistake. He might not be getting first place from this race, but he's gonna get a position that's better than last as he comes the final corner underneath the Nvidia advertising. Absolutely thrilling, incredible racing at Monaco. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, of course, you can click the like button, share it with friends, or even subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other videos. If you've got even more time on your hands than you should, you could also click the link to our Facebook page in the video description and like us on there. We're currently at 170. It would be absolutely incredible to get to 200 before Christmas. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.